Massive respect, my people. You don't know a rush is from Rush's Kitchen. And we're there this week with the next great episode. True dinner there. So we're there all on your food same And today, we're going to do a blended sorrel with an infusion of cucumber. We know you never hear about that one day. I'm going to introduce it to you. So go and stay tuned, go and watch, and be entertained. So we have right here, so we sorrel and we don't prepare this. Um, boil from overnight already and everything. So we have in this we have a ginger, we have a pimento, and pimento gives a special kind of taste. We don't know if we ever tried it yet, but trust me, pimento in sorrel bring out a different flavor. You get me? Lime juice. I put lime juice in there today. This to me tastes really nice in sorrel. You know I overdo it and put too much in it still and get it too sour because sorrel already come with that certain level of tanginess and sour in sorrel. So you don't want to put too much in it, right? We have a ginger right there, so cut up nice and everything, slice. We're going to put some of this in it later if needs be. Most of the time, we just drop two more in it because I love ginger in my sorrel. I love when it's hot. So we have a cucumber right over here, so dice up and prepare and everything already and nice and fresh. Cucumber as well give a refreshing taste as well as you want to use that for, for the nutritional benefits of cucumber. And trust me, it's vast and wide. I love cucumber, I love the juice by itself, I love mix it with carrot and other vegetables or other fruits and things. Trust me, really nice and cucumber one of my favorite vegetables. We eat it by itself. We eat all the pound of cucumber in a tree. I so misty. I love cucumber. Sugar there, because you know you have a sweet thing. Um, brown sugar, and it's optional as well. Some people may not drink cereal without sugar. Drink it. Some people drink it with small amount of sugar. Some people drink it well sweet. I love it in between. So, not too sweet, not too sour or fresh. So, just so me like it. So, and just in case you're wondering where the rum there, you know what rum right now optional again because more and just take it out of the freezer and just drink anytime and if any kids come over come over or anything we can just give them I'm no say on a rum day night or anything because some people eat light you, know, you have to cater for everybody but personally we don't want a rum today we just want to take it out of the refrigerator or where it is wherever it is and just drink same time you get me so, a little bit about the sorrel now. I'm telling you how I prepare the sorrel. Because this pre prepare pre prepare already, as well. I'm telling you, uh, from overnight, a soak and thing with ginger and pimento. So, what I do, make sure you wash your sorrel good and proper. Because sorrel is a thing where it, it have in like some insects night sometime and them things. You see me? So, you want to wash out that properly. Another thing with sorrel again is that sometimes it comes with some white stuff in it and you want to get rid of that. Uh, I think it's a kind of fungus, so in that case you want to wash your sorrel properly. I mean, know that from experience. So you will experience some little things so you have to wash out your sorrel properly. All right? And next thing again, the boiling process. You don't know you have a pot of boil with your ginger and everything and your pimento and you make that go and boil for like a five minutes or so because you want the ginger flavor strong in it. So, I have my pot of boil, add my, my, my sorrel in it and just make that maybe boil for maybe at one minute or so. Cover it and let it stay for a couple of hours. Right? Now, next thing we're going to do with this sorrel today, I'm going to blend everything. I'm not waste nothing. Typically, a lot of persons just throw away the, 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 pet, the, the flower itself. No, I'm not that well. We do it sometimes, you know, but most of the time, I blend it and get everything. So it's like a pulp and everything in a one. So I'm not waste nothing, I'm not dash or nothing. And trust me, it's really nutritious. Actually, my sister must do it for the first time. And I don't know, I get up on it. So every time I do sorrel, or most of the time, I that me do. And yo, trust me, it's nice, man. So you just do that, it's straight it off and everything. 
but with the cucumber trust me it had a nice flavor and everything so my sister Shelly big up yourself for your first message do it and trust me me hook on it and a lot of persons don't do it and a lot of persons don't even know some people don't have a time to blend it and just want to throw out and drink but one can consume everything we don't waste nothing we don't waste we don't dash or nothing so I get that so next thing we are going on now is the blending process and we are going to show now how we do that right now so watch this now so I get in a blending process Zane and these are the fun part so we also add everything everything we add to it we add all of them cucumbers huh? and you know so the important thing though is that you're not too overloaded with too much cucumber to kind of kill the taste of the sorry. You just want a nice blend, a nice infusion of everything. And that should be good. So you don't want to use too much of that. We might add some more ginger as well because we have it on display and me love ginger. I don't know how much persons oh, they love ginger like me. But that good right there so now we blend now until we get it as fine as possible a meal of blend on a high speed when i blend by the low speed because i want it done in no time so i blend and get it over with so periodically you want to check we make sure so you get up on the right page and everything I blend out proper and thing and trust me the ginger and this smell nice I'll give it some more blending like Yeah man, so now we get rid of the pulp. What I'm gonna do is add back this to the blender, then add all the sugar and the lime juice. That's how I do my sweetening though. I love to do it every day because the blender mix out everything nice and proper. So that's my way of doing it. Alright? So 
So we get this out of the way in the one. You can add the lime juice. And as I said earlier, you know what add too much. You just add a little bit for the taste. Sugar as well. The amount is optional for you, depending on the level of sweetness. So we just give this another round of blending, like about 30 seconds or less, and we're good to go. Alright, you know what, not more than that, I think that should do everything and everything blend out nice and proper. So we're going to serve chill now. Sorry, serve chill is much better to me. A lot of persons don't love the ice or love things chill because of health reasons, but I love things cool in terms of like sorrel and any other juice. So we are going to add it to the ice now. Just like this. Yeah man peeps, I eat this is a nice sorrel drink blended with cucumber. And again, this is not the traditional way of doing sorrel. Most people just dry, but you don't know we have to remix things and we have to just change it up. And this is one of my favorite drinks. We look about it almost well, every other week or so. Because I love sorrel. And that's what I mean, I say. So the cooking videos them now, for persons asking about the cooking videos. Yeah man, them, them are common street. So in between those cooking videos you will have your normal punch videos, juice videos and things. You will get those. But I want to bring on stream now all of the cooking videos. Yeah. Because Courtney dung it on the skin and say, yo, what are the cooking videos? Yeah. Yo, we home. Yeah man, I'm so free up my boss. I can't let go your belly now. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, and follow me on the other social media network. At Rush's Kitchen on Facebook, at Rush's Kitchen on Insta, at Rush's Kitchen on TikTok. Follow that. And big up Jamaica, walk by myself. You understand me? I say, Fabian and Lexi, you know, say, large people go over there, check out the channel. Remember, over there, at, just like, subscribe, share, just like one that do with my page. Same way, a family them. You don't know. And truly, big up yourself anyway you're there. Right, no, Russia's kitchen there, big bad kitchen, we can.